Hi. The message I have for you today is about the fact that we are always co-creating, whether we are aware of it or not. And I just wanted to say that in these difficult time that we are living on planet Earth right now, there's a lot of talking about the bad stuff that is happening. There's a lot of people that connect towards these things that are happening. And in a way, it's really not a normal thing because um, we are all challenged by this in different ways. And it's normal to want to connect with other people because it's, it's really healing to feel that we are not alone in this and we are going through this together. And it's a beautiful thing to connect with other human beings. Um, the only thing I wanted to talk about and make you aware of is that sometimes we kind of get a sense of pleasure out of talking about the bad things that are happening in the world. And it's a really like subtle way of pleasure. It's like if it's exciting to talk about like everything that is happening and that uh, we see on media and that kind of thing. And I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about. And that sense of pleasure is an illusion, in fact, because it's really just like awakening the pain body. If you are familiar with Eckhart Tolle, uh, when he talks a lot about the pain body, and that sense of pleasure is something that is not helpful or beneficial for anyone. So, I think that it would be really helpful if we could be responsible of our conversation that we have about what is happening right now and that we could understand when we are talking with someone and we are talking about like the sensation and the big thing that is happening like the media does that excite us in a not very healing way because what is going on when we do that is that we put a lot of energy towards this because it's an emotion that we have so we put a lot of energy in it and what it does is that it's creating more of that which excite us and give us pleasure and because a lot of people are doing that right now it's like if we are create feeding the beast in a way we are feeding that energy by taking pleasure out of that thing that because it's in a way like what is happening is connecting all of us and it's a beautiful thing but we have to, I think, as, as a person, if you see this, just be responsible of where the conversation is heading and the purpose of that conversation. Because we are all challenged by this and we are all living some kind of distress at some level and some fears and, and it's okay to exchange with people with our loved ones with our friends but for healing purposes i think that where it gets out of hand is is when like we are sharing the sensation and the the excitement towards it that i think that it's it's just going to create more of what we ultimately don't want but it's okay to connect together all of mankind it's a beautiful thing but it, it would be 
much more helpful if we could and I think it would make such a it would be amazing what we could do if we could connect together on a more positive aspect which means talking about like how uh, that thing that happened connect all of humans together and make us question how we are living on this earth and with what place are we giving to other beings on this planet and I think that these are powerful questions that we should focus and put our energy towards and not necessarily waste our magic energy towards the bad things that are happening the all of these things you know I don't really want to go but like what I'm hearing and seeing is like discontentment from people towards their government and like the the injustice and all of these things and like it is like if we could just as a as one as a unity just recenter regroup ourselves hold space for our trauma and fears and just give it love hold it and put our energy and focus towards something that it would be much more beneficial for the entire planet and mankind i hope that this message will reach as many people as possible i know that my youtube channel is new so i don't know if it if it will resonate but if ever you see that message in the future maybe it will in some way resonate with you and i think that it's the thing that we should always apply in life and it's okay when you have a conversation with someone even even though you're an awakening an awakened person whether the definition resonates with you it can happen sometimes that you you fall down the the sleep and like you just it happened to everyone that we're misaligned and we just but all I want to say is that it's okay if you, if you have a conversation with someone and that you can put awareness and consciousness and if you see that conversation going somewhere that is just about like excitement and sensation just like when you're watching an action movie and you want to it's it's reality it's your reality and you choose it and it's okay to say you know what i don't really want to talk about 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 this right now like i don't i just it's okay because you are choosing you and it, it's a good thing and or you could try to redirect the conversations towards something more positive because underneath that sensation and excitement is pain and what we want to do is heal this pain and just maybe change the focus towards something that has happened that is really beautiful and positive but old space for the pain and the challenge and just transmute that energy towards something that will be healing beneficial and would use that thing that is going on in the world to put us i'm sorry it's my dog to put us in a better place this is what we want i will end this message with something a bit special i hope you will enjoy it i will read you a poem from the last writing of Jim Morrison, Wilderness. I don't know if you. Just a moment. Let's just go see my dog, please. Please hold, just a second. One time, say hi. Oh, 
This is my dog. His name is Shadow. Hi. <laughs> so, as I was saying, I'm just going to finish this uh, message with a poem that I will choose from an instinctive way from the wilder wilderness. It's uh, The Lost Writing of Jim Morrison, The Poem and Diaries of a Rock and Roll Legend. Jim Morrison to me is a was, is, um, someone that has a real, really special spiritual energy. And I wanted to hold space for him today to, for a poem. So I hope you will enjoy it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so it doesn't have a title. Let's see if I can find which section is. Um, oh God, I think it's the. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have a, a title, so I'm gonna read it to you. Hope you enjoy it. She's selling news in the market. Time in the hall. The girls of the factory rolling cigars. They haven't invented me like yet, so I read to them from the book of days, a horror, a horror story from the gothic age, a gruesome romance from the LA plague. I had a vision of America seen from the air. 28,000, 100,000 feet and going fast. A one harmed man in, te in a Texas parking labyrinth. A burnt tree like a giant primeval bird in a empty lot in Fresno. Miles and miles of hotel corridors and elevators filled with citizens. Motel money, murder man madness, change the mood from glad to sadness. Play the ghost song, baby. Yeah, so it's page 99 from the last writing of Jim Morrison. I'm sure if you re read it, you will find something that will resonate with you at this time. Um, I always do. So, yeah, yeah. Another song that really resonates with me these days is the We King from Tragic He Hip, the Tragic He Hip. So if you want to listen to that, I hope you enjoyed today's message. If you have something uh, to say or that you want to you want to tell me or other people that will see this message please leave a comment down below and i will read it so i wish you a beautiful day i hope you will stay centered in your love and alignment with the reality that you want have a nice day bye